Hey guys, Rich Page, our Jemathan Timber Frame Company, the main timber framer. Today I'm going to demonstrate doing an end cut on a rafter, and I'm going to use the Moffle bandsaw. Uh, what I've got set up here is a fence, and then what this is, is this is a piece that's cut for an offset. So let me show you something here. So this is the line that I'm going to cut on. So when you set your offset, this offset is three and five eighths inches. If you've got a Moffle bandsaw, that's what I use. Uh, and it keeps me pretty much right on the line. So three and five eighths for your offset. Then make your fence and you're going to run your saw down your fence. I want to show you a couple things on the Moffle bandsaw that I've made modifications to uh, that make it easy to cut. So if you've run a Moffle bandsaw, uh, you, you're going to say that they're pretty awesome. And at the same time, if you don't have one, you're going to say, wow, I wish I had one because they're pretty cool. So this is my Moffle bandsaw. What I want to point out on this one, and I've had this in another video, but I'll show it because I really haven't shown a lot of time with it. I put this device on it here. You'll notice this here. This is an air hose. And I've got a little quarter inch air socket here. So when I turn this baby on, I'm blowing air right at the blade. If you'll notice, if I can get in here and you can see the teeth on the blade, see if that'll focus in on the teeth on the blade, you'll see that this side and this arrow, I guess that's a good indicator, it's an up cut. So when you're cutting on this side of the saw, uh, you're going to get a face full of sawdust every time. So what this device here does is connect it up to your compressor, quarter inch fitting. I mounted this in inside uh, away from the the the, uh, the wheel that has the uh, blade so it keeps it out of the way so they're pretty much countersunk screws inside and then I just put this little uh, device here so now I'm able to blow air in two places one directly on the blade and directly in front of the blade so that I can make sure I can stay on the line I don't get a face full of sawdust in the interim let me set this up and I'm going to make this cut and then you can tell me what you think all right let me see if I can get this set up Okay, so I've already used uh, my setup piece here. This is my offset. I'm gonna cut on this line here. This piece will fall off when, it, when we're done. One of the things to notice too, uh, let me check the focus here, make sure it's right. Yeah, okay, pretty good. Is that this distance from here to here or the width of the bandsaw is only eight inches. So you can't go make a big cut more than eight inches. So you have to take this material off at least down to eight inches, a little less than eight inches. So when you come across, your second blade can clear this area. So I think that's important if you didn't know that. Um, or, or if you have one of these saws, you already figured it out for sure. All right, let me, uh, let me demonstrate how it works. All right, put some air muffs on. Grab the saw. Set it up here, making sure to keep all your cords out of the way of the blade. That'll make you act funny if you cut those off. Okay, so now I'm set up. I'm on my fence. I'm going to give it some air. I'm turn it on. Now I can turn off the air, let the saw stop, put it away. Disconnect the air. Okay, so what you saw was a cut coming across here. Now, this area is going to be removed. You'll, I'll end up marking it here. I'll have a tenon that comes down like this. This flat side, uh, I'm going to demonstrate something in another video coming up, is uh, in uh, Timber Doodles put a little note on this about doing a drop cut. Generally, I discourage drop cuts. 
Because this is not at a 90 and it's coming a downhill where you can get some control, we'll talk about and maybe we'll do a demonstration on a drop cut on that rafter. Okay, that's what I had to demonstrate was the Moffle bandsaw. I had a blow off using an offset, cut to length, done, and you've got a perfectly flat, square, true edge from that bandsaw. It does a real nice job. Thanks for watching. Click like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.